Hello, hello. This is Hodora, and welcome back to another episode of Hongkai Star Rail. Well, for this episode, the first 15 to 16 minutes gonna be a little bit of the static. <laughs> gonna have a little bit of static because I recorded last night, and somehow my equipment has some problem and we end up with a little bit static your best. Don't blame in my recording I should have considered such a recording footage so I can't fix that and it was Svarog who attacked first well this is what happened after we beating Svarog and there is a reason I do this before I start the stream by that I mean last yesterday maybe because well, there is a Hertha simulated universe, World 2 oh, is locked behind after we watch this but quest. Still have a lot left to so after we're done with this quest, Please that will sense. unlock and I'm doing that will in my free time. <laughs> so That's we're gonna watch this together for 15 What's minutes and we're gonna start we have the, exact the actual the gameplay <laughs> where I play this Nor game have we figured out the reason after that so for now I'm gonna attitude. stay quiet we still haven't put all of the pieces together dreams oh I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before hmm all three dreams were the same, with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there is some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside him? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest.
Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town, and it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you, I can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language are you using? In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No. Won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart to heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that. Before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um... What are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But... Why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. 
Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. a good sleep. <laughs> Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Did you have a dream again last night? Huh, that's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! We have plenty of time. Look who's here. It's the Bane of Svarog, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Ugh, enough about Sambo. We need him for this trip. And we can still get rid of him after we reach the surface. Miss Sila, I'm still here, you know. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm, could this be one of those open-in-case-of-emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Oh, so we are already here where the letter from Bronya. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all the text. <laughs> Too much text though. <laughs> anyway, we are more at the end of this quest line. So we can, can continue with who could the sister be? another quest. <laughs> because I want to finish this 
uh, chapter the Jerry Rose 6 chapter and hey, rather possible track. because there Sampo. Many Do you know the Landau siblings? Stop that Landau. lock behind uh, yeah, this chapter. With the the past, and most of the them are like weekly things. She so it just start of uh, a new week. A That's why if I finish so them early, right I can take can my time, time. clearing every weekly dungeon. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna go to our game. Because that is done. Now return to the surface, shall we? Anyway, one moment. Okay. Let's go sample. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Yep. Ask away, my friend. I have all the answers you seek. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> Tell me about Silva. Oh, she's quite extraordinary. The renowned rebellious Landau girl. She once had a bright future, but after getting on her leader's bad side, she lost her job. She ended up opening a workshop and playing underground music. I heard oh. that her old man was furious and that only a few younger siblings are still in contact with her. I used to go to her sometimes when I had any mechanical problems above ground, but for uh, various reasons, I don't visit her workshop much anymore. Can I ask for your surname? No, you can't be from the from Landau because your hair is blue. Landau hair is bronze. What else is there to say? You know him as well as I do. He's an upstanding guy as well as uh, young, handsome, and charming in his <laughs> lack of charm. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not very close to him. After all, he's an officer and I'm the opposite. Mm-hmm. Okay, tell it's me about Furnace. It's a passage connecting the underworld and the overworld. A big stone spiral stairway. You know, I don't understand the architect's obsession with making these steps when there is such advanced technology available. Wouldn't an elevator have been better? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's easier true. easier for you youngsters. For this old guy, the steps of the Furnace core are a nightmare on the knees. Okay, I can understand that. Tell me you about yourself. Enough about me, huh? Yeah. All right. My name is Sampo Kaski. I'm a businessman who stands up for justice in his free time. And no, I don't have it in for you. Ah. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Yeah. What's the matter? Got too attached to the. Oh, sorry. Well, my friends, are you ready? Let's go. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. So also, it's a stair. It's not the elevator. That's Mother, so high, though. I have returned. Bronya, are your leg okay? Is your leg not broken after taking that stair? <laughs> Bronya, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are you are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. I see. The underworld. Oh, I see. Huh? In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Ah. Uh, I use... Hmm. I'm listening. Go on. Madame Kakolia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Hmm. Well, 
The responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian. To carry these secrets for eternity. Yeah. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellar on the Architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... The... Get up! Oh, no. What? Arrogant. Ignorant. You disappoint me, Bronya. What happened, Gohoria? You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Guards! Take Bronya. They are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time. This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Okay, okay. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Well, she may be not, but I am. Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Branya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Oh. Oh no. Do we have to fight Bronya and Kokoria? Ah, I we're hope not. finally back. <sighs> oh, Sila is with us. That like. nice? Um, 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 um. At least if she in the team, that would be really nice. But he, she just here in the story. So what favor is it? <sighs> Freedom. Cold, actually. Let's go. <laughs> Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Uh, a fan in need is a fan indeed. Let's find Lando. Yeah. The bro or the sis? You're talking about Chapard. We should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So you think we should avoid Chapard for the time being? Yeah. Right? He's an elite officer of the Silver Main Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter. Would be walking right into the lion's den. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then. Yep, yep. Let's go. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. Oh yes, Zila. Never been to the overworld before. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... We've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. Alright. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually Friend like this? in the darkness outside. No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. 
might have something to do with us. What is that? The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of... Oh, my poster? Really? <laughs> hey. Come around and have a look. Now we here for servo. Who is it? The shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Uh Is it Lady and the Fixer? <laughs> ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait. Why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silver Main guards are looking all over for you? Yep. Quick, act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. <laughs> why why are you so willing to help us? <laughs> this is suspicious. <sighs> all right. You'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and barely anyone Are you can sure you're just shouting from inside and we can hear it from outside? That doesn't sound like good soundproofing. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. <laughs> Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Yes. Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for huh. me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I see. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. So you know Kokolia well. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once, inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. That sounds like a dream. Yeah, if I'm not careful, I really I'll want start to be like that. You all with sob <laughs> stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> uh... Mm. Uh, should we make long story short? Tell the long and short of the story. Yeah. Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. <laughs> Okay, go, uh, go on, Marsh. Try not to embellish the facts. Telling Silva about your time in the underworld and what did you know about the Steron? And showing her the letter. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. Oh, so you know about Stellaron? When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. Oh. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. That's quite nice of them that they didn't kill you off to cover the secret. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. Oh. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Spara, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. 
It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, maybe she doesn't got abandoned because she is in London. Her family can back her up for that. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. Ah. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. Yeah, yeah, that's why I wonder. How much do you know about the Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Uh, do you know what Cocolia in Go is? Cocolia. It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. Huh. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. Did she shame because she knows the truth or did she shame because the Sauron manipulating her? She gave the hmm. order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation, and the real Kokolia has already vanished. Oh no, then what's gonna happen to Bronya then? Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for a good songwriting material. Oh, come on. You have the same self defense mechanism as me, Serval, joking about sad stuff. <laughs> uh, can we talk to Japard? <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need Aww. to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. I see. Do you know where the Stiron is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. Oh, that nice. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellavog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. Mm. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? <laughs> Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. Really? The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern worry. snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Yeah, that's so fun. Yes. That's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zeal. Nah, don't worry, Mars. It will be well, enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brain waves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great. Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. 
It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. Ah. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. All right, let's go. Uh oh, someone here. D uh, darn it! I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. <laughs> Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. How good at hiding are Depard! we? Depard! It's you. <laughs> I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> you were so bad at lying, Sirval. <laughs> things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks is slow. But I don't think Jeff Hart gonna notice anything, to take right? I'm back a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. <laughs> Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You are so bad. <laughs> you normally use my full name. <sighs> You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, brosish? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Oh, Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. <laughs> now you're good. You're good at... teasing your brother, I see. Don't say that. Forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Wait, the Pop all Fort that without happened saying anything in one to night. anyone. Really? The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Branya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. Sela, <laughs> it's over there. Well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look uh -oh. for it. I think I left it over. Uh, wait! <laughs> no, no, this is bad. What is it? This is bad. You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um. Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? <laughs> you must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. But this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. <laughs> Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. Oh, so Pela also in her band. In her band. 
I didn't will take Pella to be someone who sing or play music. I see, I see. Also, I almost got all the full sign in this game except for sample. Only sample is left that I haven't got for full star. But I don't got any five star except for Baronia. <laughs> oh, my luck is so bad. Oh, sorry. Phew. I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klepoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. Okay, I will you believe like you for Branya that. Herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Uh, let each of us go into the list. Didn't you hear him? He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Is Branya really safe? You care? Nah, 100 meter. I'm not gonna walk that far. About her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but... Ah, oh, did that skip the dialogue? I f I'm sorry. Oh, they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brain waves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. How? How are we not gonna get spotted? <laughs> Hello. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that? <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? <laughs> he not gotten a promo yet. <laughs> well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? Oh. N no, that's a... Uh... Not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. We need to hurry. Okay. Here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Okay. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. <laughs> no, no. Captain Jappard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. All right. So we go there. Can we listen? I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. But let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. This is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding wait, two wait, 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 wait. That too much. extra minutes of one arm planks to our daily drill. Is that clear? If you do all that, you don't gonna have en enough energy to fight anything. Yes, sir. Really? Oh, treasure. 
shiny. See, that was easy. You're Japard's sister, all right. Hey. I don't want people to see me that way. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. Okay. Do they believe in hell? They do. The architects believe that hell can exist on any world. A plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. In the future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If, under Klopoth, the preservation's guidance, we fail to construct a barrier, that catastrophe will sweep away the stars, plunging ah. all worlds into hell. Okay. That's the belief of the architects. But for us, hell is an endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Okay. We come this exactly. far. We've got nowhere left to retreat. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Okay. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. <laughs> he a Landau, so he can handle himself. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Ah, oh, that's rough. Oh, treasure. Ha, huh, easy. Oh, I press one line to. Huh? Ah, I see. Now, where to go, little guys? We going up? We going up. Oh, that's fast. Thank you. Listen. <coughs> Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure did. Palo was on lead vocals this time. Scared me half to death. <laughs> it's a completely different style. Even mechanical fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Don't be so pessimistic. <laughs> just keeping things fresh. I thought Pela was pretty good. So Pela is kind of idle for the. Soldier, huh? Maybe. Uh, anything over there? Mm, nothing. Nothing. Here. I hope you don't have to find that robot. Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. Ah. Aruka doing this in. Intentionally. I was just thinking that. We can't rule it out. I see. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. 
I see that Aston. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Uh huh. Oh, they cut off the early tree. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Okay. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! Okay, okay, don't get mad. I don't want to fight. I come in peace. Hello. Oh. This. That's it. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's <laughs> behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Mm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Uh, wouldn't this call the commotion? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on. Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Okay. Controller. No pass. Hello. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption <laughs> key. Ah, darn. This guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Uh... Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Okay. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem, we'll be back in a bit. Oh, so you know each other. That would be easy, right? One moment. There should be something here. Yep. Something there. One moment, I have to check every corner of this area. Anything here? Oh, we can't you. go there yet. Hold it right. This is a military base. Yep. Okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? Seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. Yep. As long as it's away from the front line, really I'd big. happily... Three intruder assigned. in your base right now. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. Damn, you're... You are quite... What do you call? Righteous? Yeah. Hey, done! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Surval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <laughs> you, 
You look good. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Great seeing you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm, what did you say? <laughs> Don, how many days have you been showered? <laughs> I, I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment. <laughs> It's not a big deal, Dunn. You know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? <sighs> we'll be on our way after we run the checkup. Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the no. energy supply line is going to be bad. Zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that. And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him? Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. <laughs> yeah. These people you've brought, they're. they're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. <sighs> there goes the negotiation. Okay, sorry for getting you involved. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Okay, we're gonna Careful. beat up. Uh. <laughs> friends? Who invited Maybe. you? Lend me your strength. The truth of life in this sanctuary. All right. My turn. On my mark. Not a step back. Fighting is ah, meaningless. Ah, Okay. Huh? This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. I have no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. Oh, I have to attack. Ow. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Nice. Not a lot of damage. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Uh, we don't have enough for the skill. My turn. <laughs> No interest in conflict. Hmm. 
This battle is unavoidable. <sighs> We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Who invited her? Huh? Ah, stay close! Here stands the Silvermane Guard! Tough luck running into me! Okay. Uh, uh, give it up. Uh, uh, gotta try hard to watch this awesome move! Bye bye! Serval? Why? Can I see your face? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Uh-oh. Now we have to fight we everyone. Attention? That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Come on, let's hit them out. <laughs> We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. All right. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Uh, one Should moment. Have put a wood Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. One moment. I think we need. Hmm. We need to put Serval here. All right. Hello, guys. Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Easy. Fighting is meaningless. Ah, not enough. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Tough luck running into me. You can fight it. Or rock Yay! It. My nice. turn. Easy. No How are that three? I forgot. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Fighting is meaningless. This song's for you. Keep up. Easy. The best is yet to come. Ah, uh, one moment. Can we go there now, then? Let me see. Who goes there? Stop right there. No interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good crowd to turn it up. Told you I could. Fighting is meaningless. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. I've no interest in. Easy. Don Hearn just past victories don't guarantee one shot the everyone. Ones. This is nice. Uh what over here? Can I open this? No authorize. Let's fix oh that a lot. This this Okay. All right, where is the treasure? Huh. Nice. Thank you. 
Okay. Fighting oh. is meaningless. That looked bad. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Have no interest. Ready to lose your son. You can fight it. Or rock with it. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Lend me your strength. Have no interest in coming. Oh, so close. That work. Do this. This song's <laughs> ah wrong. I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Fighting is meaningless. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Keep up. Told you. I All right. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future oh, ones. I see you. Hello. Ah, the two of you. Okay. You'll pay for this. Mm, let's use this. So watch this awesome move. There's always a weakness. Turn it up. My turn. Too late to repent. Right. All of you weak to win. This is gonna be easy. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Lend me your strength. And then we're gonna no eat. E. Nice. Open. We're in. Oh, it's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Um, you don't have to thank him. Treasure. Now what? Give me some time. Ugh, who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. <laughs> Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode. <laughs> who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs. Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. That is um, a big global. Won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. Yeah, Fika. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go. I beat you so many times. Fat careful guy. Uh, let's We've use entered buff. the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Move careful. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Move carefully. But we don't have healer though. I forgot. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Turn it up. Tough luck running into me. Oh, that's it. Bad. Fighting is meaningless. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. The truth of life and death. With the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Nice. Lend me your strength. Of no interest in conflict. This song's for you. Keep up. Ow, 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 ow. Fighting is meaningless. 
You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To All guard right. and defend. If, uh, Crush them. This should be able to trigger the ultimate, maybe. Nice. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Turn it up. I told you I could fight. All right. Whew. The best is yet to come. Energy restored, system online, certification enabled. Ah, come on, come on! 40%, 65%, 85%. We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Now we go where? Over there. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <laughs> well, at least that is your brother weak to win. If, if he weak to win, Dan Hang gonna eat him. <laughs> Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Uh. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. Come on, it's fun, right? Uh, <laughs> I haven't fought with Jappard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... What if I do this? Turn... What, what is this? Clockwise. Nice. Now we can go... There. I want to see what on the other side. Even though I know it's locked. Just little check, you know. I can't even open it. <laughs> hey, but we got a chest. That nice. You. Of course, he is over there. Surval. It really is you. Wait, Japard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet, step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every silver main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my silver main comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the eternal freeze, to seal the fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. <sighs> you have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please 
because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. Mm. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. That's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. And we have no time to waste on you. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Uh, what happened to Ben Rip? Real says the wall. Let's fight. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. It's fun. Don't worry, Marsh. Combat is fun. Right. So, okay, he we can to Olin. Lightning. We don't have physical. This is kind of bad. Oh, fast forward. Ow. Ow. Lend me your strength. Fighting is meaningless. Interest in conflict. Huh. Let's Ready do this. to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Uh. E. Okay. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Nice. We need to chill. Nice, so we can chill Bronya. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. This ends here. You can't run. <laughs> You'll pay for this. <laughs> Pretty good crowd. We've entered the storm. Okay. To guard and defend. Crush them. Buff and the then... Songs for you. No, not Bronya yet. <laughs> This again. Watch this okay, we break move. him. We break the minion. No interest in conflict. And this. This battle is unavoidable. We can make Serval. Lengthen yeah. your strength. Break your Ready brother. <laughs> nice. Ready to lose your son. You can fight it. Or rock with it. Okay. You have. No. You're gonna die. Nice. This guy knows how to put up a fight. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. Come on, we win easily. We don't have. As I am. We don't even have to use the healer. 
fight, he'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. <sighs> Even if I am, I won't yield. We don't need you to yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Jepard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. <sighs> Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Branya. Lady Bronya? Will he be swayed with the letter? There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. So. Final answer? But, Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military okay, protocol, nice. we can leave. the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines. A soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Thanks for understanding. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Belabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. Yeah. If you are truly yeah. able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. Don't worry, don't worry. They're not we, lying. We won't do that. You. you must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Nah, don't worry, we can handle ourselves. Right? Right. Maybe. Oh, a lot of robots. Got. As soon as the restricted trash. zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? We are ready. Yeah. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. I hope all this recording that audio is going like to be just fine. If there is static, I can't really record this because I can't replay really this chapter with our new account. <laughs> it's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> well, I'm going to make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For Bronya, <laughs> for the woman. Here they come. Steal yourselves.
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Fighting is meaningless. We gonna have to today. remove Servo for our main character. <laughs> but most of the fragments are weak to physical, right? That's what I see. Lend me your strength. This song's for you. Keep up. No interest in conflict. Yeah, most of them weak to physical. The truth of life and death revealed in a sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Is it bad? We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush okay. them. Pretty good Please crowd today. Break. Turn it up. Told you nice. I could fight. And uh, let's use Ready Ultimate. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. How many of them are there? Final wave the already. Oh no. Hold the line. You'll pay for this. This song's for you. Keep up. Too late to repent. The truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Okay, only one left. This show. Come on, really. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> no interest. Oh. Okay. Barely make it through. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. Okay. <sighs> Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. It's my responsibility now. Besides... Yeah, we beat up everyone in the camp, so... If I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and... Now it's so close that I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. All right, I I gonna put you out of the team anyway. So this is quite convenient. Shot. <laughs> no, we won't disappoint you. Hey, March, don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. <laughs> Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Oh, hello. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Urelo? Why is Urelo? Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is his first trailblazing expedition. How will he be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Hmm. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. Ah. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, How we could How old are you, little... Himeko? 
Maybe I shouldn't add that. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint a Stellaron? Sorval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. <laughs> this place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to Well, we have one guy who can detect Stellaron, actually. Right? Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Okay. We change you to... Yep. And actually gonna switch. So most of the enemy gonna attack Marsh. Dan Heng, you need to switch with is too because you defend it not at high at me <laughs> that guy surprised me <laughs> okay we see an enemy oh uh, look up ahead on the ground what is that be careful think twice before you interact with anything in the fragmentum yeah something over there this is Bronyas! Huh? Could she be here too? Right. She must be. This can't be a coincidence. Whoa! Quick, look! That's Bronya! Huh? Is that Kakolia too? No. It isn't them. It must be... A kind of echo? Some type of residual energy replicated by the Fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. Huh. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Easy then. Ah, <sighs> uh, We're deep inside the fragmentum. There could be hidden dangers. Uh, I want to explore. Let's look for other clues first. Wow, wow, wow. Really? Okay. You still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now. It is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Branya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Oh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet, the crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. No, that not right. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. The price that you don't have to pay. When the promise is fulfilled, Bronya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. She is far gone. No. She is far gone. 
This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Ah, <sighs> I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, uh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub-looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. Okay. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... Hmm, I gotta touch it. There's no other way. I gotta touch desperate it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, touch it. Huh, even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. One. Okay, we need to find four. It worked, right? But the gate didn't move an inch. Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. All right. Thank you for making on the map for me. Ah, this is shortcut. Ah, uh, so I have to go here anyway. Ah, that nice. Look, over there! I think I can see the next unit. Oh, I see it too. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> Easy then. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Let's make it quick. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Isn't that nice? What over here though? Fighting is meaningless. Come on. Is this? I'm made to be broken. You'll pay for this. <laughs> ah, the formidable four. Ah, oh, shiny. What level Ooh, are you? Sparkly. Crash now or Four crash later? Two. That look doable. But what make it even more doable is that we eat something. Where is it that increased attack? This one. Hey. Now let's fight. <laughs> Move carefully. Huh? We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Move carefully. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Oh, this is gonna be a hard fight. Okay. This battle is unavoidable. Ah. Uh, one moment. Okay, you weak to ice. That is bad. Lend me your strength. Maybe we need no interesting serval for this. Let's go. Travels. Fighting is meaningless. You'll pay for this. Wrong button again. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Try that again. Rules are made to be broken. I hope you swear. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick. Yeah, if we have healer, it's gonna be easier. Fighting is meaningless. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. 
have no interest in conflict. Gotta try hard some watch this awesome move! Shooting dead on someone, the minion. We might be able to do this. Somehow. Fighting is meaningless. Go away! You can't run! That is really bad. Lend me your strength. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Tough luck Yeah, it's really me. close. It's very close. This battle. <laughs> yep. Retreat. <laughs> We need to dish our main character for Natasha. Yeah. Let's go again. And we have to eat, right? Defense. No. Yep. Let's try this. Maybe Don Hang can creep in every hit <laughs> and kill that boss right away. I know that I shouldn't do this when I want to forget or forgot uh forgot huh, on the enemy. Crush later. On the story, but I can't help it. Right. Move carefully. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Move carefully. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Quite far. Fighting is meaningless. Lend me your strength. Ah, uh, not enough. Naughty child. We need to heal. That's better. The truth of life and death. Do. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick. Ah, not great. <laughs> just, just a little something. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Lend me your strength. Tough luck running into me. Okay, this run a lot smoother, smoother than the last time. <laughs> no interest in conflict. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. All right, Bob. Don't have E. Ah, uh, not enough for ultimate. My turn. Time for nap time. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Quick. Okay, we close. Really close. Lend me your strength. Fighting is tough. Tough luck running into me. Naughty child. <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. This is bad. Lend me your strength. 
By bad, I mean Braun, you're gonna be dead. We need to heal. Anyway, we kill the enemy. That good. Oh, I see. Uh, we have Levi, right? Hugh, 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 Hugh. Huh? I thought we have Levi. Looks like we don't. Oh well. Actually, can we synthesize something? Yeah. Four of them. Yep. Uh, inventory. Use. Yes. And eat. That's good enough. We can use Natasha to heal in next combat. Ah, treasure. Show the way. Oi, I can't go there. Let's fight this first. Who win? Okay. Hello. I've no interest in. I think this is the. Quest that the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Unlock the cavern of collusion for us to farm equipment. I mean, Lilic. I just want that so that I can do a uh, weekly assignment. I know that I shouldn't farm that early level, but I still have to do it. Monsters guarding the energy hub? It seems like it. Huh. Strange. Yeah. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man made objects. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. <sighs> I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the. Uh, go here. So it's counterclockwise, right? Hey, I'm smart. <laughs> Let's go. I want to find the treasure first. Oh, yeah, this thing that what I talking about earlier, cavern of corrosion. What is this, Mr. Yang? Ah, live, cavern of corrosion. No one knows for sure. Elvis Kalis. Ah. Really? Uh, we don't have enough energy right now, so we're gonna keep that. Hello. Fighting is meaningless. 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! There's nice. always a weakness. My turn. Easy. Can I open the gate? The last one. I know the where the last one is. Shut down. I want to ask you a question. Uh, ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Uh, close eye and meditate. Mr. Ron, see at the danger. Well, yeah, the voice is now be This is close. merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well. There's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Well, the Stellaron I had already worn, Horlia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. I feel like we should trigger this generator last, but. I think we go in the wrong order, but that's fine, right? There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush the Stellaron thing to dust. All right. Good job, Sela. And thank you for the treasure. Nice. Now we rotate this uh, clockwise, right? No. How do we access that? Ah, yeah, that how? Well, then I think we are on the right order. Hello, you weak to win. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fighting is meaningless. There's always a weakness. Gotta try hard, son. Watch this awesome move. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Tough luck running into me. Nice. Time for a shot now. Bye bye. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Ah, this lead back to where we came from. Uh, are these echoes too? Yes. We keep skipping. Here seems to have <laughs> we keep skipping, skipping the event. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the generator soon. In her image. <laughs> One moment, I need to do that first. <laughs> Yep. We're one step closer to Branya. Let's move. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, 
every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. And all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Branya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives yeah, trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one no, must choose no, no, a no. new beginning. But Klipoth, the Preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Velabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the Preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the Architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. This is bad. We need to get Branya out of this mad man, mad woman. Get her away. This is not healthy. Who are you? Whoa, check this place out. Tables and sentry posts? There must have been silver main guard stationed here once. Yeah, and there were, something more they left waiting a for long over time there. Ago. <laughs> there might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. Hello. Looks like another completely new monster. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. How about you help us to Sila? Oh, we can't go there. Pray. No, 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 no. You're not gonna use ring attack on me. Move carefully. That's not fair. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Hold your breath. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Nice. Uh, we entered the storm. Bronya, second skill. Push remove them. the buff first, then no apply the brown. Nice, nice, nice. Fighting is meaningless. Fight with me. Ah, I I do the wrong one. Oh well. <laughs> you. Too late to repent. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Okay. So did mean we can't use skill, right? You'll pay for this. My turn. Gotta try hard stuff. Watch this awesome move. Nice. Just a little something. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I have no interest in conquering. Well, if you say I can't use skill, then. Lend me your strength. Okay. I'm okay. 
Bye bye. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex yeah, use, tactics. Use like ban attack, ban Look, skew. Look, and Cocolia's echoes. They must have come through here. The voice getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Nice. Let's go here. Worth our while. What over here? This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. As for what came later, you know as well as I. So. The Eternal Freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? Don't you two know that already, Bonya? <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. <sighs> Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? No, oh, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. Mm. Oh, I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. Ah. So she also know about the outside world. Oh yes, Stellaron. Controlling her. I hope that Stellaron controlling her, not that she become mad up from knowing the truth of the world. Alright, where is the treasure, little guys? Alright, that a lot of enemy though. One moment. Okay, I have to go over there. So, yeah. Let's fight! Whatever you are! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Fighting is meaningless. Eat this. The truth of life and death. This is but a vision. Maybe I should buff first. I probably forgot. Crush them. I've no interest in conflict. Pay for this. My turn. Okay. Fighting is meaningless. Just in time. So, yeah, Just let's do this. Oh, thanks a lot. Watch this awesome move. No nice. interesting con. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Fighting is meaningless. Time for it. Okay. 
Okay, easy. We need to go over there, huh? One moment. There's so many treasure here. Formidable foe. Hello. I've no interest in conflict. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Lend me your strength. I've no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. Naughty child, now. Ow. Ow. Fighting is meaningless. Where? Ah, over here. Okay. Red to red and white to white. Um, there are two formidable four, and there is one over here. In my opinion, no. I just want to open this and go grab that checkpoint first. Don't mind me. And I will fight those FOE in my free time. I just noticed we are at two hour mark. Interesting we shouldn't pay longer than this. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. I'm okay. That's better. Just, just a little something. Thank you. Oh, thanks a lot. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Fighting is We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them! Time for a shot. Already? No interest in conflict. You'll pay for fight with me! Uh, why don't you try get the same... Annoying. Okay. This battle is <laughs> Why don't you target it down hang like usual, man? Let's have Bronya up. Show your courage. Let's see. It's that shadow of hers again. Oh, I thought we we're gonna fight her. It feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders! Uh, did... did she just speak? You cannot approach! <laughs> Not good! March! Out the way! Crystalleron! Ah, so we fight Kokolia. Intruders! Oh, you go no further! We don't have any of these! Uh, are you sure this isn't the real her? It may look like her, but the fragmentum can only go through the forge. Bring her down! Come on. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. Fighting is mean. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. Well, we can kill her, but we can't break her. That is the problem. Ooh. Ah! Really? Retreat. Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We're gonna shake Marsh for server 
and let's go. One healer is enough, I believe. It feels like you. <laughs> Intruders! Oh, you go no further. This uh, are you sure this, this isn't the real her? They may look like her, but the fragmentum can only create forgeries. Bring her down! That's it. Lend me your strength. I've no interest in storm. Okay. To guard and defend. Crush them! Fighting is Naughty child. Now. You are doomed to fail. I'm okay. Uh no, Servo don't have to do that, so we're gonna push your strength. You up. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Burn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Easy. Witness the avalanche. No. You'll pay for this. We need to remove the buff. Nice. No interest in conflict. Keep up. Uh, should we heal? Nah. Judgment of eternal winter. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Just a little yeah. something. Assistance is timely. Yeah, that's good that we win. This battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Ah, uh, not enough. Really? Turn it up. That'll take Ready more than you do. You can fight it. Or rock with it. Time for a shot. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Crush you. Lend me your strength. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. You are doomed to fail. Oh no. That's it. Nah. We can leave that to Servo. Lend me your strength. Songs for you. Turn it up. Oh, okay. That's better. Don't worry about me. A world devoured by ice. No. <laughs> just, just a little something. <laughs> okay. We can Ready win this easy. The nah, you don't have enough time for that. The truth right. of life and death. Don't hang. Is but a vision. <laughs> she disappeared. Those stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever this they leave, chapter it must is be really long. <laughs> We're still on the the cold star toys, right? I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. <laughs> this means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Where are we in the fragmentum? It is how to blessing come to an end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid mm -hmm. getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of 
the first trailblazing <laughs> expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Well, you can come join us on the express, you know, Sile. Right on. But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. Ah. Do I have to say that? It sounds so cringe. This is the spirit of trailblazing. Oh, we finished the Star Arco. Alright, I think this is a good place to end today's episode. Next, we're gonna come to an close and fair Korea in the next episode. And thank you, thank you for anyone who's watching this and come to an end with me. I hope you enjoy this episode and if you like what you've seen so far consider like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any future episode i'm gonna put out for now i hope you have a good day and this is Todora. i have to go now so bye bye